everyone um sorry for the lack of video updates it's just uh um a lot of things have happened and while i really want to keep this channel mostly doll related i guess i should just start talking about kind of some of the things that happened in the last couple of weeks um like um i finally got into antidepressants for the first time in my life so that's just been kind of an emotional roller coaster for me just because um i i've always my emotions for like the last year and a half just been in the middle but now it's just kind of going up and down really fast for me so yeah um there's also um other stuff like uh i've tried packing up a lot of my um doll collection from my house and trying to move it to my partner's house and even though I've managed to fill up about like one, two, three, and four um, tubs of dolls, I I still have a lot. And I guess ever since packing up a lot of my dolls, I just felt I've just been feeling really, really overwhelmed. And so, um, because. I think this is like one of the first times where I've ever ha really ever had to look at my doll collection in the last three or so years since I've moved out of home and that um, I guess it's just been really overwhelming for me just to see how many <laughs> I do have and so I guess that, that has taken a bit of fun of acquiring new dolls for me. And so, yeah, um, I'm planning to move in with my partner by the end of the year. And so, um, um, her father, um, said that I could have, um, his spare office because he does, isn't using the room at all. And so, um, yeah. And so, uh, I'm going to turn it into, um, kind of my own doll studio kind of thing. But, you know, that that involves actually getting all my dolls into one place now. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess if I had to put a rough estimate, um, roughly there's 60% of my doll collection behind me right now. And so, yeah. If, if I've gotten a 2DS um, for, like, um, for, like, a really, really, really cheap price. Like, it was... I only paid about double digits for it and so um yeah um so i've been kind of just playing um pokemon games like pokemon x and trying to get all of my pokemon white pokemon onto my pokemon bank and then i've gone playing pokemon yellow again kind of thing so i guess that like that has been kind of cutting into my dull leisure time but yeah, um, like, so, I guess that kind of covers a lot of why, like, I've just been kind of overwhelmed by dolls lately, but, um, I have been watching a lot of other videos as well, and that I really like hearing what other people are up to, and just kind of, like, what's happening in their lives, so, um, yeah, uh, so... I decided to just make kind of like my own kind of chatting video about it. One of the big things that came in the mail for me was um, a doll package from one of my good friends, um, Andrea, aka Dolls Ahoy. And she included a lot of like um, clothing that she's sewn. But, um, but since like a lot of my doll collections already been packed up, I, I just haven't been able to redress any of them. But, um, yeah, one of the dolls she did send was this Mystery Squad Kenzie. She's a bit too light-skinned, but, um, yeah, uh, the hair was, like, really matted at the ends and stuff, but, um, I, I did end up fixing the hair by, like, um, just soaking it in kind of conditioner and then just, like, gently separating it with my fingers and just trying to style it that way. Um, do not comb hair like this, otherwise you might ruin it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, so I just kind of finger combed the hair. 
And also, she had like um, a couple of blonde streaks, like rooted in at the, her part up here, and so like, so I removed them just because um, I'm I'm just not a huge fan of that kind of early two thousands um, like dull hairstyling. So um, yeah, I really like her with her hair just like one color, and yeah, I'm really proud of how I was able to get her hair um, just like fixed up. And not as ratty looking, like yeah. Um, oh yeah, I I've also put her on a made to move um, Barbie body with um, glam night Leah hands. As you can see, like the hands are a bit cuter, I think. And yeah, um, I, I'm just so yeah. That, like um, I've just been playing with this doll a lot um, for the last couple of days, just because um. Like, this is one of the dolls that I've really wanted for such a long time, and that I'm I'm just so happy that I'm able to, like, got, um, get one and be able to restore her. Just because, like, she has, like, a really, um... She has, um, the Leah face sculpt, which I really, really love. Because it's, like, one of my, um, kind of childhood, um, face sculpts that I associate with Barbie and her friends. So, yeah, um... It's just... I'm just like really really proud of um, her hair and that she she has like a lot of personality and I'm really happy about that and yeah um yeah so I've just kind of been like playing with this doll for like the last couple of days just because like I really love like a lot of things about her so yeah um Andrea also did send me um the this um body um it's like it's a very weird gangly kind of body but it is very poseable and um i did get my um dremel and i was able to like carve down the shoulder width and carve down the chest a bit and, and make like the neck not really as like stout and yeah um I'm really happy because um, I've had this um, acetone trunk doll head since I was about um, 14. So I've had this head for about 10 years now and that I've never been able to find a body that had like a short enough neck but also the right kind of body proportions. I repainted this doll head to have a Momoko style eye paint and so yeah, um, her head is like completely rock hard. like. Even when I boil it, it only gets slightly flexible, but not enough that I can even pierce the head. So I guess I have to try making her a wig now, but... Um, my skin is very sensitive to natural fibers, so I can't use mohair to like glue it on stuff, so... It'll be interesting trying to see what I can come up with in terms of like wig options for her. Because her head is very, very tiny as well. And yeah. I also um, thrifted um, this, I think it's an Irwin Toys or Bandai Toys um, Sailor Jupiter doll. And um, even though it was like really badly painted stuff, um, I noticed that like the outfit looked pretty cute and that um, her face sculpt had a lot of um, potential to it. So yeah. Um, so I restyled her hair so it wasn't as ratty and that her fringe wasn't like going like bleh, bleh, like blah 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 as Chris would say. Um, so I boiled it all down and tried to like make it a lot smoother. Um, she also came on this body which as you can see it's very awkward looking like the neck is really short and like yeah. Um, it definitely didn't suit the kind of anime-esque kind of face she had. So, um, after... Um, after, like, a couple days of searching, I finally found a place selling a DC Superhero Girls, um, Poison Ivy, um, doll. And, um, the skin tone isn't a perfect match. Like, um, she would have matched Batgirl a bit better, but, um, Poison Ivy had, um no painted hands, and the shoes were green, so yeah. And so, um, I altered the dress to fit the body a bit better, and I repainted her, and I'm um, actually, I don't know how I really feel about, um, her face paint, because I don't know if I ruined it or not, <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, um, here she is. Yeah. Yeah, um, I am not very confident about, um, the anime, um, kind of style of paint. But, um, yeah, I, I just wanted her to look a bit less, like, like, surprised and shocked and stuffed, and just try wanted to make her look like she was a bit more from the show itself. And yeah, um, I think the body really suits her because in the show, the girls had really, really, really long legs, and th they, their bodies were like, at least like more, t um, the upper bodies were like very teen sized and stuff. And so yeah, um, I'm not sure if I should just like kind of alter the sleeves a bit or remove the bow and kind of like um, get like a smaller piece of ribbon or something. But yeah, um, like I don't know whether I should try to alter the shoes to be more like ankle boots or if this looks good enough with it. And um, I, I'm not sure if I should try making her like um, arm length like gloves to complete her outfit just because um just because like doll scale gloves don't ever really translate well it's either really weird midden looking things or um or like it just looks like painted arms and like there's nothing that really looks like gloves that looks works well to me so i'm not sure if i should just you know let her have like no gloves and stuff um, yeah, she also needs, like, like, a choker, just so, um, yeah, just because, like, I don't think it, her head looks <laughs> that good on the, on that neck, and I'm thinking, like, maybe a choker could, um, distract a bit from it, but, yeah, um, so, yeah, um, I really, really love, um, Sailor Moon and Sailor Jupiter and stuff, but, yeah, I just never could was able to justify any of the prices for it. But since I found this doll at Savers, I went to town with customizing her. And yeah, definitely think she's a bit better looking on this body than on this kind of awkward length of body. And yeah. And on a related note, um, I... <sighs> um, I did... Um, find out very recently, um, one of my, um, one of the people that I really looked up to in the hobby when I was, like, about 14 to 16 years old, um, uh, uh her husband posted on her Facebook saying she died, and I, I guess that's, that's just been, like, something really shocking and overwhelming to me, just because... <laughs> Even though I really looked up to her and that she, she was this really kind and generous person. She she was only like just like just a generation above me. She she wasn't like significantly older than me. So um just just reading uh, just hearing from her husband about the fact that she died really <laughs> like it really shocked and overwhelmed me, and that it's been really hard to process because, yeah, um, uh, so, um, if you follow, um, if you've known me for a while, you know that I, I used to be a huge, um, foreign member at, um, the Junkie Spot forums and stuff, and that, um, yeah, um, and even though that, like, I wasn't the best at customizing and stuff, um, th this person was really encouraging to me, and she was so generous, and she has, and, and we've kept in touch, like, over the last couple of years, but, um, I, I just haven't really talked to her much, just because, um, uh, I went out of the doll um, BJD hobby like lots and lots of years back now and just like yeah I just I 
I just feel really conflicted because like I've never really maintained really good contact with her and now like I just I just feel like really upset at myself that I wasn't able to maintain that contact and so um yeah um when I was younger she she was really really sweet and really generous and um and so um she actually bought me one of my grey old doll heads that I've wanted at the time, which was an elf doll woo head. And so, um, yeah, I... And she sent it over with, like, a lot of lovely gifts as well. And so, yeah, but... I've always held on to... Um, even though I sold off a lot of my BJD stuff, and I've never really been in the hobby back then ever since. Um... I've always kept held on to uh, uh, my Elf Dolwu just because, like, he was, like, a really wonderful gift from a very generous person, and I just... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, like, I, I don't have words for how I f really feel right now about her death and stuff, but, um, yeah, uh... Um, I did give him a face-up when I was, like, um, 17, and that I recently wiped it, but, um, yeah, yeah, I recently wiped him, and, um, yeah, um, and I was planning to do another face-up on him, but since it's the middle of winter, um, looks like it won't be until another couple months. But, um, yeah, um, so this is my Elf Doll Wu. He's on a Bull Bobby, um, 60 centimeter boy body with, like, elbow mods and doll more hands. But I, I really need to cut down at least a centimeter of his wrist to make his hands sit down better. But, yeah, um, so it just, I just feel really overwhelmed and really sad that um, so, uh, that someone I really looked up to um, passed away and that she was just really wonderful and generous and uh, I just don't know how to process my feelings about that just because like even though she was a huge huge part of my life like in terms of creativity and this hobby in general, uh, I just don't feel right grieving for her, you know? Like, just because we, we haven't kept in contact and that I guess we never can now and that I just, I just don't feel right. Um, like... I just don't feel like I know what to do because, yeah, um, yeah. I guess what I can do is just hope that that the people that care about her are okay and that I can try to try to be as positive and be as kind and as creative as she was, and I really do hope that... I really do hope that I can make the differ this a difference in someone else's life that she has made to me. Even if she will... she may never know it. I just... I really do hope... I really do hope it comes across in the things that I make and the things that I do that like like the thing like those things aren't yeah um it's like the things that I make and the things that I do um I, I hope it comes across to others that like I didn't just get this from a vacuum I got it from I got my skills and my encouragement and my support from a wonderful 
amount of people and that and that like uh, that like I really do hope that <laughs> that I I can be the same to others and so yeah um so yeah that's just kind of like my kind of um experience it's with the doll hobby in the last couple of weeks now and that yeah um it's overwhelming and that it's been like a huge emotional roller coaster for me <laughs> for the last couple of weeks but it also keeps me grounded and it and it's one of the very big consistently positive things in my life and yeah I really hope that I I really hope that you know things like this can make other people's lives just a bit more positive as well so yeah Thank you so much for watching this really long video, and yeah, see you soon. <laughs>